Hello. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Oh, I'm in, I'm in mute. I'm in mute now. <laughs> okay, can you hear me? Me lo deben escuchar, guys. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Me preocuparon. It made me worry. <laughs> Hi. How is everything? How How is everybody? Are you good? Is everybody okay? How was your day, guys? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Nice. Nice. Nice, teacher. Nice. Super nice, super, super good. Are you ready to start our class today? Yes. Yes, yes super ready. ready. Yes. Super nice. Besides, estamos en el ombliguito de la semana, right? And, uh, you know, nos falta solo un poquito. So thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for your attendance. It's nice to have you here. And, uh, y gracias por la puntualidad. So you're super, super awesome. Super nice. I'm going to be sharing my screen. Let's comparto mi pantalla. I'm going to share my screen. And um, mm, 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 okay. And today is session number 13. So we are going to be working with one more topic. Okay. And this is a well session 13. Today is August the 19th. And today we are going to be able to ask and answer questions, especially what time. Vamos a trabajar con la hora. We are going to be working with the time. A qué horas? A qué horas te bañas? A qué horas comes? So every single activity that refers to time. First, we are going to check. Okay, we are going to check some vocabulary. I have, you know, my reminders of every day, like the camera, your homework. La conversaciones, all right, and everything you see there. So here we have a conversation. It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with a partner. So let me read it. Déjenme leerla. Let me read it. Vayamos tomando nota de alguna palabra nueva, right? O de alguna palabra que no sepamos la pronunciación. Y luego revisamos together. So. One is Kevin and the other is Albert. Kevin says, hey, what do you have to do on Thursday? And the next person says, I just check the production. Um, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Hold on, hold on. I believe les estoy mostrando a wrong one. Give me just a quick sec. Give me just, just, just a quick second here. Oh no, we're good. Okay. Never mind. La vi rarita de repente. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. Let me just read it one more time. What do you have to do on Thursday? Um, Albert says, I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a, a favor? Sure. What is it about? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, creo que les estoy mostrando. Es de la ayer. No, sorry, I'm making no. the, I'm make, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making the mistake. Que estoy leyendo desde el, el material, no les estoy mostrando mi, mi presentación. Hold on, hold on. This is why la veía un poquito rara. I look at it super, super weird. So hold on, hold on. Bear with me, bear with me just a quick second. Bear with me just a quick second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're with me. Okay. So something happened to my to my conversation. Okay. No worries, guys. So we are good. Sorry, I, I lost it in the process. Okay. 
So listen up. We are going to we are I'm going to show you this this presentation in a second. Something happened to it. And uh, so in the meantime, let's yes, take a look at the numbers. Vamos a revisar ahora cómo hablar de la hora. But before getting started with this part, vamos a revisar los números. We are going to be checking the pronunciation of numbers in general. So let's take a look. If you pay attention, these are the numbers in English. I think you know them. La mayoría ya se lo saben, right? You know them. Maybe you know from one to 10, from 10 to 20, from 20 to 30, hasta el millón, et cetera, et cetera. So today, los más importantes van a ser del 1 al 60, que es para hablar de la obra, right? So let me read them for you. Here we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I have a question for you. Um, and I want you to think about this. Solo pensamos un segundito en esto. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienen? How old are you? Take a look. We have 11, 12, 13. Here, desde el 13 hasta el 19, todos terminan en teen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right? Now, let's think about this. ¿Tenemos a alguien en la familia en esa edad? Do we have somebody under that age? Okay. So, ¿Cuáles son las edades? What are the age of the members of your family? How old are you? How old is your sister? How old is your mother? How old is your nephew, your niece, your son, your friend? So, ¿qué edad tienen? What is the age of them? Then we come to 20 or 20, right? And the next one, let's take a look. Vamos con 13, es más fuerte en teen. Luego todos van con 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. So everybody, ayúdenme a repetir. Help me repeat, please. Activate your microphone. Get your microphone ready. And let's repeat. Uh, ready? Yes? Ready. Yes. Ready. Yes. ready. Okay, super good. Let's repeat. Zero. 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 One. One. Two. Two. Three. 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 Okay, okay. Hay dos palabras que se parecen. Three es un árbol. Three. 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 Es un número. Okay, super parecidos. So one more time. Árbol. Three. 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 El tres. Three. Nine, nine, ten, ten. ten. Okay, very good. Eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay, now, es mucho más fuerte en teen. Remember, es mucho más fuerte el final. Thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16, 17, 17. Va a ser posible eh, haga una, una sentadilla cada vez que diga okay. 18, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 20, 20, 20, two pronunciations, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Next, 20. let's move on, let's move on. This number, three zero. Thirty. Three zero. Thirty. But for me, it's difficult. So I say 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 
TH va la lengüita un poco afuera, all right? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 50. No, 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 no. Only for 30, only for 30. Okay. Uh, let's continue. 70. 70. 80. 80. Okay, 80. It's okay. Or 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 19, no. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. And then if you want to say the rest, so you just go, oh, 21, 22, 23, 31, 32, 33, etc. And if we get to this number, this is 100. 100. 100. 100. 1,000. 1,000. Thousand. Thousand. One million. One, One million. million. One million. Exactly. One million. Okay, good. Now the question is, I want you to talk about the H. Comenzamos con la H para que practicamos eh, números, all right? So, how old are you? How old is your how sister? Old? Uh, how old is your mother? Invéntenselo. If you feel like, oh, I feel like an, an old woman. I feel like a lady. No worries. Quítense años. You're good. <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> okay, nobody knows. So, I, I'm going to give you one minute, two minutes, and I want you to write it down. I am X years old. My sister is X years old. So, I want you to write the age of your family members. So, all the ones, all, as many as you can. Tantos como puedan. As many as you can. So, my son, my daughter, my husband, my wife, my mother. Todos lo que podamos, right? One minute. No Uy, ¿quién está peleando? Alguien le van a pegar. Ya si en este case le voy a silenciar here. Hola, ticha. Silvia. Hey, hey, Silvia. Hello. How are you? Nice to have you. Fine. Welcome. Thank you. Este, ¿Qué actividad van a hacer? Me voy a conectar exactamente. Ok, ok. Thank, no worries, no worries. Right now, estamos viendo los números. We are checking just numbers. Porque vamos a aprender a decir la hora. So, para que practicamos los números first, vamos a practicar edades, right? I want you to say your age. Quiero que diga todas las edades de los miembros de la familia que pueda. All right? As many as you can. Uh, okay. Like, I am 20 years old. I am 30. I am, my brother is uh, 21, 22. So, as many. Tantos como pueda. As many as you can. Okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Solo es un minuto. It's only one minute. Y luego vamos a practicar. So, one minute. Bye. Teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo digo, cómo digo mi hermano menor? Oh, 
I'm going to uh, write it in the chat. Give me just a second. Tal vez alguien tiene la misma duda. So I'm gonna share this one here. My older, my older brother, sister, etc. Es el mayor, right? So my older, my older brother is. And you can, there are different ways. You can say my little brother, que es como el chiquitito, right? My little brother. Or my younger brother. Or my younger brother. So you can use them. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Welcome. I'll give you 30 seconds. So you have to make sure that you get it. Is there a number you have difficulties with? Hay algún número con el que les cueste a little bit. Is there a number? O oh, estamos bien. Are you good? Remember, todos los del 213 hacia abajo es teen, 13, 14, 15. Si comienzan, si van 20, 30, 40, then we go 20 or 20, 30, 40. So es diferente, right? So ya yes, solo pongámosle un poquito de, de cuidado there. Just pay attention to those numbers. Okay, so I think that most of you are kind of ready. Yeah, I see everybody's ready. Ready, guys? Can we start practicing? Yeah. Thank you, Yesire. Yesire, hello. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, girl. Thank hello. you for, for joining. Nice to have you. Nice to have you today. Okay. Okay, so we are going to practice. I'm going to send you... I'm going to invite you to a group here and I want you to just practice, all right? Practice as much as possible. Practice the numbers, right? So you can- Teacher, yes, hola, Milagro. hola. Hi. Eh, la palabra nieta es bien larga. Quiero saber cómo se pronuncia. Great granddaughter. Great. No, wait, wait. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se escribe? Hold on, hold on. Uy, es bien grande. Granddaughter. Estoy diciendo bisnieta. <laughs> yeah, it's granddaughter. Great granddaughter is bisnieta. Yeah, grand. It's granddaughter. Granddaughter. Mm -hmm. granddaughter. Granddaughter. Yep. Granddaughter. Your granddaughter. Yes. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. That's granddaughter. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, everybody. Yo, so, Yes, you are just going to talk about the age para que practiquemos los números. So, that's it. Okay. Just practice a given ages y luego vamos con la hora. Okay? So, I'm inviting okay. you to this group. Join it, practice, say hello to them, have fun, and then we come back and we practice the time. So, practicamos los números as much as possible. All right? Practice them as much as possible. Join the groups. Let's join them. <laughs> join them, guys, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm still missing some people, so please join the groups. Join the group. Mm -mm -mm. Isaac, I think you're having internet issues. Milagro? Hola, no he terminado. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Ni, ni he entendido qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Ah, ok, no worries, no worries. So, solamente la hora, I mean, la hora, sorry. <laughs> solamente la H, para que practicamos número, right? Sí, pero... No, no sé por qué solo yo no entiendo, teacher, que ahí todos entienden. Oh, no, no, no milagro, no.
Hello. 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 Are you here? <laughs> Is anybody here? Hi, teacher. Hey, hello. Thank you for hello, joining. Teacher. Hello. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Me logra escuchar. Can you hear me? Hi. Me logran escuchar. Hello. Sí. Uh, sí, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, guys. So, solamente la, um, el objetivo es practicar números, right? So we are going to practice numbers. Eh, vamos a practicar un poquito con las edades. So tell me the ages. How old are you? Um, I am uh, 27 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, very good. What about your family? Eh, Yasira, how old are you? I am 39 or year. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And your family? I, my son is a uh, uh, 20, 20 year. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, super good. That's okay. So 20, very good pronunciation of 20. Okay. Any other member of your family? Uh, my mom is uh, seven, 72 mm -hmm. years. Okay, okay. And my sister is uh, 14 uh -huh. years. Okay, okay, very good. That's okay. Nice. Francisco, what about you? What can you tell us? Uh, my brother's... 26 years old, my sister 25 years old, mm -hmm. and my mother's 45 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> very good pronunciation, very good pronunciation of a... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I got the flu. Very good pronunciation of, of the, um, the H. Okay, so very nice. That's super, super good. Okay, thank you. Any other number? Any other thing? Not much. Not much. Okay. <laughs> Not anymore. Thank you so much. Okay, we're good. Okay, guys. So we are going to go back to the main session. Give me just a minute. Okay, everybody, so you listen to uh, some ages, right? What numbers did, do you remember? ¿Qué números escucharon? What numbers do you remember? 55. 55? 55. Okay, the same, all right. Any other? 32. 32? 18. 18? 18. 85, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, 86, that is to tell the time, okay? So we need numbers, obviously, to tell uh, the time, right? So let me show you here, let me show you here, my presentation to tell the time. Give me just a quick second. Okay. Uh, Okay, so I don't know if you can see my screen. Let me make it bigger. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Okay, uh, yes. 
So we are going to tell the time. So what time is it? What is the time? Let's take a look. Here we have the clock. This is a clock. And to tell the time, we need the numbers, okay? So we need, for example, um, to, re to read the time, it is super easy. I'm going to be sharing this in a little while. Hold on, give me just a second. Uh, for example, take a look. We have two little arrows. The small one, we say just the number, yeah? And the big oh, one, uh -huh, the big one represents the minutes. So what time is it? Everybody, let's repeat. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? First, what time is it? We say the time. It is four. Okay? It is, it is four. four. It is four. And if you pay okay. attention, it is on 12. So for 12, we say o'clock. It is four o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's it. Super easy. So it is four o'clock, five o'clock, nine o'clock, etc. So it is four o'clock. O'clock. All right. So o'clock. And punto, right? It is four o'clock. Mm -hmm. It is four o'clock. Yes. Okay. Now let me show you. Let me show you next. What time? Teacher. Yes. Mm, I have a question. Vaya, si yo digo son las cuatro y media y digo o'clock, digamos, it's it's four thirty y luego digo o'clock. Uh, no, you cannot do bien. that because o'clock significa en punto, en punto, pero en punto como la hora completa, you know, cuando da esta vueltecita. So eh, that means una, dos, tres, cuatro, sin minutos. So, o'clock es sin minutos, right? Uh -huh. So, no, we, no lo usamos para cuando vayan minutos. That's very important. Okay. And that's a good question. So, look at this. What is the time? It is 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay. It is 10 o'clock. Exactly. So, 10 o'clock. Very nice. Now, let's take a look. What time is it? Oh, acá ya tenemos oh. more. It's a little bit bigger. ¿Cómo lo leemos? Like in Spanish, the cinco en cinco. So we need to know. It's quarter. Ah, okay. Hay muchas formas. There are many to ways. Seven. To seven. Ah, okay, okay. Let's take a look. Hagámoslo de la forma oh. fácil primero. Let's read it the easiest way. It is. ¿Qué hora es? It is. Seven. seven. It is seven. ¿Y cuántos minutos? It is seven. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. Okay, that is way 45 number one. Pass. No, 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 no. Here, the easiest way is 745. Okay? 45. It is 745. Yes. Now, Edith mm -hmm. menciona otra forma. So, well, eh, teacher. But... Yes, Madeline? Y se puede decir, digamos... Uh, seven with 45. No, it's 745. Mm, puede decir with 45, pero tiene que agregar minutos. It is minutes. seven with 45 with. minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero no es muy común. The easiest way is 745. That's it. Okay. It is 745. <coughs> now, what about Edith's question? ¿Cuándo le agregó el past? Ya lo vamos a ver. Wait, wait. Ahorita vamos a ir a la forma más sencilla, ¿ok? <laughs> Otherwise, vamos a confundirnos. Vamos a, a, a hacer bolas here. Uh, ok, so, let's take a look at this one. Now, si se fijan, son 7.45. ¿Cuánto falta para las... Tendría eh, que ser 8. ¿Cuánto falta para las 8? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There is a mistake. There is a mistake. Hold on, hold on. Because there is a mistake in here. Oh, there is a mistake with this time. Okay, so the easiest way is solamente leer la hora and then the minutes, right? And that's it. We got it. Now, this is another way to express this. If you pay attention, ¿cuánto falta para el, la siguiente hora? How many minutes are missing? Quarter. 
Mm -hmm. Son 15, right? 15 minutes. Pero otra forma de leer 15, another way to say 15, I'm going to write it here. You can say 15 and it's okay. Another way is to say a quarter, como una cora, a quarter, right? Pero falta, it is a quarter to eight. It is a quarter to eight. Faltan 15, pero no para las 7. Había un error, lo acabo de corregir, sorry. So it is a quarter to eight, porque es un cuarto a las 8, right? So a quarter to eight, para la siguiente hora. Teacher. Yes. Habría que agregarle después del it la letra A también, o no, hasta solo quarter. No, it is okay. It is quarter to eight. It is a quarter to eight. Both are Cualquiera fine. Yeah, la más común es decir, it is a quarter, right? But, but it, I mean, it's understood. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, help me with this. Ayúdenme con esta. Help me with this. Hagámoslo de la forma completa, right? So, it is. What time is it? It is. Mm -hmm. It is 4.55. Aha, it is 4.55 minutes. Okay, it is 4.55. It is 4 and 55 minutes. This is good. Now, ¿cuánto falta para las 5? According five. to this. 5. Five. 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 So, podemos usar, we can use this one, the anterior. It two. is. So, it is. Five. Five, five two, two. Five, two. Five. Four. Five. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry, you're right. Ya no me yes. da. You're right. You're right. Son las 3.55. So it is not 4.55, but it is 3.55. 3.55, exactly. So it is 5.2. It is 5.4. 5.4. Sorry, es lo ser millennial. Yo no solo veo en el teléfono. But you're right, exactly. It is 3.55. You're totally right. Uh, 5 to 4, okay? Four. Yes. What about this one? What is the time? Six. It is 6.10. It is 6.10. 10 minutes. 6.10 Give me just a second. It is six up ten. Okay, so it is six ten. All right, that's okay. Six, that's ten. all right. Or uh, 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 let's take a look. Six, Pero también lo puedo decir al revés, right? Acaban de pasar diez minutos. So it is ten past six. Mm -hmm. It is ten past six. Okay, very good. Next one. I need one volunteer who helps me. Next time. Yeah. Yeah. No ten, ten, el anterior two, milagro. Three. This one? Sí, el anterior no lo ah, entendí. Okay. No worries. Let me let me explain. Remember, hay varias formas de decirle ahora. There are many different ways. Like in Spanish, usted dice las dos y diez. O dice diez pasadas las dos. All right. So hay muchas formas de hacerlo en inglés también. La forma más fácil, the easiest way. Es solamente la hora con los minutos. It is 6, 10. Y eso es todo. That's it. But, la otra forma sería, if you pay attention, ¿cuántos minutos han pasado de las 6? 10. 10 minutos. Pass 10 to 6. So, if you pay attention, solamente han pasado 10 minutos de las 6. So, una forma de decirlo, another way to say this, y decirlo literal, te puedo decir, ten it is 10, los 10 minutos, it is 10 past 6. Son 10 pasadas las 6, all right? O las 6 con 10, lo cual es lo mismo. But, es una forma alterna. This is like an alternate way to say this. It ¿Y, is cómo ten, ¿Y cómo diría las 6 con 10? 
So, si decimos las seis con diez, puedo decir it is ten past six, la forma que está acá, all right? Or, la otra forma sería it is, dígame primero la hora. Six. 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 Los minutos. Ten. Ten. Yes. Todo, exactly. So, Remember, hay varias formas de decirle ahora. No es que estén mal. They are okay. Solo es cual de ustedes cojan. So, it is 6.10 or it is 10 past 6. Uh, just give me a second. I'm going to, I'm going to mute you just for a second because I'm listening to a lot of noise and I cannot distinguish voices. <laughs> okay, so uh, it is 10 past 6 or it is 6.10. ¿Estamos bien, Milagro? ¿Estamos bien? Okay? Yeah. You're mute. <laughs> You're mute. I cannot hear you. Yes, ¿estamos bien? Okay? ¿Está bien? Okay. It? Uh, okay. Yes. Don't worry, vamos a practicar. Remember, this is just a matter of practice. Thank you. Okay, so let's go for next one. I need one volunteer, please. Teacher, three, and two, three. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Uh, Edith, do you have an answer okay. for us two? Okay. Um, it's two, uh, 50 minutes. Okay, 250, okay. Uh, Herson nos decía otra, what is it, Herson? It's 10. Two, mm -hmm. three. Two, three. Okay, let's take a look. Yes, very good. Ambas están super bien. Exactly. Very good, Edith and Herson. So it is a uh, two fifty or it is ten to three. Ambas están bien. We are good. Okay, we are good. It is ten to. Remember, como falta, yo digo two. It is ten to three. Para las, right? Ten to three. Can I move? Puedo avanzar a la siguiente. Can I move? Let me know, let me know, please. Si van a tomar nota, also tell me para uh, slow a little bit. Okay. Next. Look at this. Look at this. What is the time? Six nine. half. It's thirty six minutes. Half. Nine to nine twelve. Nine, 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 thirty minutes. Nine, 30. nine, half. Okay, remember, I bought this format, right? So we have nine and a half, nine and thirty minutes, nine thirty. Okay, let's take a look. So the answer that we have here is it's half past half nine. Treinta minutos pasada a las nueve. Las que ustedes dijeron están súper bien. Nine thirty, okay or nine and a half. So, estamos bien. We are good. Esa es solo una forma alterna, right? This is another way to say it. Another way to say it. Now, look at this. Look at this. Do me a big favor. In the chat, everybody, escríbame cuál es la hora. What is the time? Write it in the chat. Write it there, please. What is the time? <gasps> Let me read you. What, write it in the chat, please. One twenty past minute. Okay, I see only Christian. Okay. Okay. Everybody write it in the chat. Para que practicamos también spelling. Write it in the chat. Write it there. Remember, hay varias formas de hacerlo. Así que la que se les haga más fácil. That is just fine. I read you guys. Yo entendí lo mismo que Silvia. 
la hora de ahorita o la hora del ejercicio? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Okay, no, this one, this, this uh, clock, the one that you see, I'm sorry, yeah. Me quedé pensando a little bit, what is the time? <laughs> sorry, what is the time here in este ejercicio, in this exercise? Okay, okay, so let's take a look. La forma más fácil, dijimos, es la hora y los minutos. No es necesario decir la palabra minutos, but 120 is good. Or 1 and 20 minutes, it's okay, it's all right. Now, si queremos usar el past, ¿qué va primero? 1 or 20? ¿Cómo lo digo? 1 past 20, 20. or 20 past 1? Mm -hmm. 20, 20 past 1. 20. 20. Son 20 pasada la una, right? Una. Entonces, mm -hmm. it is? 20, 20 past one. 20, 20. One. exactly. 20, 20 past one. one. Very good. 20 plus one. Okay. Yes. It is 20 plus one. Let's look at the answer. 20 plus one. Or one, 20. Okay, 120. So you're good. You're mm -hmm. super, super good. Next one. Next, 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 next. What is the time? Write it in the chat. Write it in the chat, everybody. Now, we are going to be a little bit more careful, okay? Because this is maybe a little bit complicated, all right? Let's take a look at the one that we have here. Let's take a look at the time. First, we can say it's five past seven. Como solo son cinco minutos, this is one way. Remember, no es que es la respuesta correcta. No, this is one way. So it is five past seven. Now, when, this is very important, when we have numbers and times, and let me write it down. Que vayan de esta forma. For example, 801. 82. Eh, mm, mm. So, todo lo que vaya entre 1 hasta el 9, from 1 to 9, que no hay otros minutos, solamente eso, lo voy a leer de la siguiente forma. 8 y el 0 lo voy a leer. I have to read it. Pero lo voy a leer como un O. Como la O, all right? So, what is the time? 8, 1. La las 8 con 1. So, 8, 1. ¿Y cómo escribo eso? Eh, actually, mm -hmm. no se escribe. Eso sí no se escribe, but... Sería de esta forma. Oh, <laughs> but we don't write it. Solo lo decimos. Uh -huh. So, eso es más para speaking practices. Cuando usted lo está diciendo. Now, next. Si fueran las nueve con dos, how do you read it? Nine. Nine. Oh, nine. Two. Oh, two. Oh, two. Exactly. Nine. Oh, two. So, nine, oh, two. Exactly. Nine, oh, two. Las nueve con dos. All right. Nine, oh, two. Now, las ocho con cinco, how do you read this? A-O-5. Exactly. O. Oh. So, no, no lo escribimos. We don't write it. Pero si lo decimos. We say it. Uh -huh. So, 8-0-1, And And that's the way we go. Um, all right. All right. So, are we, are we okay so far? Are we good? Guys, si tienen preguntas, stop me, please. So, we can go for it.
Teacher, eh, uh -huh. vi, vi un, una, una diapositiva que tiene todas las varias. Yeah. Esa no la puede poner y para tomar una captura. Uh, I was not going to do it. Wait. <laughs> I was not going to do it porque se las iba a mostrar hasta el final. But yes, I can do it. Ah, bueno. No, 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 no problema entonces. Es que esto se es que no los quiero confundir. But yes, no worries. No es, que, es que Gerson va corriendo. No worries. No, no. Gerson va solo... por el 80 ya. Okay. Va corriendo. <risa> okay. on, no, yo solo lo vi y dije yo, esa no la ha presentado ella, pero bueno. No, I haven't done it, I haven't done it. Lo que sucede es esto, what happened is, que este es como el, el resumen, right? Uh, cuando van de acá, desde el 1 hasta el 30, we are going to use past. One past two. Twenty eh, past four. Thirty past. Five. Y cuando van desde el 30 hasta el 60, ya no utilizamos past, sino que es más común que utilicemos tú, es decir, cuánto me falta para llegar a la siguiente hora, right? So, it is 25 to 3. Estoy hablando de la siguiente hora. So, this is why uh, I haven't presented this one, porque era como ya hasta el final, right? Pero si les ayuda un poco to clarify, so pueden analizarla, you can analyze this. For no, porque second. Gerson no se va a confundir, pero yo sí. Oh, no worries, no worries. Eso es solamente la forma. Dividen su reloj en 30 minutos. So, del 1 al 30 y de 30 al 60. So, you see the colors. Yellow and green. Así utilizamos past y así utilizamos to. But, eh, remember, esa es una forma alterna. The easiest way by far. Ya vamos a practicar with two. The easiest way is eh, leerlo así corrido, ¿ok? Hora y minuto. It's sin utilizar really past or two. It's fine. So, you can take a picture y ya lo practicamos, ¿ok? So, just take the picture. Just take the picture and we practice this in a minute. So, no worries. Do you have the picture? Yes. Yes. Okay, just, yes. just take the picture, no worries, no worries. Okie dokie. Okay, 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 okay. So give me just a second. We are going to listen to uh, one activity now and I want you to take notes of this. We are going to watch a little video about daily activities. And I need you to write everything you can. Escriban todo lo que puedan. Everything you can. Si escucharon solo palabras, it's okay. Si escucharon solo la hora, it's all right. So write everything you can. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? Disculpe. Oh, listen. So only listen. Pero denme un segundito. Give me just a second. So, everybody, listen to this video. Okay, listen to the video. Y tomemos nota de qué hacen y a qué horas lo hacen. All right? Give me a second. In this day, what time do you get up? Loren, escuchar eso? Can you hear that? Yeah. What time? I mean, no, casi no hablado. The video is super short. Okay. So one more time. One more time. Let me play it. Cindy's day. What time do you get up? I get up at 7.30. What time do you wash your face? 
I wash my face at 7.35. What time do you put on makeup? I put on makeup at 7.45. What time do you get dressed? I get dressed at 8 o'clock. What time do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 8.10. What time do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth at 8.30. What time do you go to school? I go to school at 8.50. What time do you study? I study from 9 o'clock to 11.55. What time do you eat lunch? I eat lunch at 12.15. What time do you exercise? I exercise from 1.30 to 2.30. What time do you do laundry? I do laundry at 2.45. Okay, so we are going to listen up to that part. Uh, are you ready? Did you take notes? Or would you like to repeat? Would you like to listen again? Are you ready? Repeat, please. Are you ready? Okay, okay. Uh, all right, so just let's listen one more time to confirm. And if it is possible, don't look at the time, but listen and try to understand, right? Let me play one more time. Let, let me play faster. Teacher. What time do you get up? Yes. Yes, yes, tell me. Solamente, solamente que todos, todos estuviéramos en mudo para que no se escuche interferencia del audio. Ahorita los muteo. No worries. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm going to play it faster, guys. Lo voy a poner un poquito más rápido para que sea más natural. So I'm going to play it a little bit faster. I get up at 7.30. What time do you wash your face? I wash my face at 7.35. What time do you put on makeup? I put on makeup at 7.45. What time do you get dressed? I get dressed at 8 o'clock. What time do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 8.10. What time do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth at 8.30. What time do you go to school? I go to school at 8.50. What time do you study? I study from 9 o'clock to 11.55. What time do you eat lunch? 
I eat lunch at 12.15. What time do you exercise? I exercise from 1.30 to 2.30. What time do you do laundry? I do laundry at 2.45. Okay, everybody, that was the listening exercise. Espero que lo hayan comparado with your notes, okay? Now, give me just a second. Vamos a compartir lo que tienen. I need you to practice this a little bit. So, I'm going to send you an invitation para que puedan compartir lo que tienen. Also, the activity, cuál es la actividad y a qué horas la hace. So, what time, for example, la última, cuál fue la pregunta? What time do you... Get laundry. laundry. What time do you do the laundry? A que horas hace lava la ropa, right? We can say wash my 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 clothes, pero es como a mano. Do the laundry es en la washing machine para los que tienen lavadora, right? So you do the laundry. So I do the laundry at a que horas la hace, right? So I'm going to send you the invitations now. Join and participate and practice the time, please. So it's going to be for five minutes. Y luego regresamos. So five minutes, everybody. Let's go and join it. Eh, la tercera, Wendy, o ya One pasó Wendy. Time. No, solo las, las horas copié yo porque entré ya ah, okay, a, me, hey. a medio audio. Ok, okay. entonces le digo yo, eh, la tercera. You, what time do, do you, you put your you put makeup? 7.45. I make up 7.45. Huh? Sí, la misma tengo, 7.45. It's okay. Yes. 7.45 La 4 no la copié muy bien ¿Me pueden decir? What time do you? Is what time is Dresses. Is you Dresses What time do you dress it? The time? The, the answer? 8 Eight o'clock. Yes. Eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
get addressed, get addressed, ajá, eight o'clock. El a cinco, what time do you eat breakfast? What time do you eat your, bre your breakfast? I breakfast. Eighty ten. Eighty ten. Is that It's okay. Sí. Yes. Okay. Yes. La, la six. What time do you brush your teeth? The answer, Edith. Uh, ¿Cuál, perdón? The sits, the number sits. What time do you brush your teeth? Um, eight thirty. I, I, the answer is I, I, bru I, I brush, brush my teeth. teeth. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell us again. Dinos de nuevo. The seven, are you the seven? What, what do you go to a school? Exactly. The answer, Wendy or- I go to a school, I go to a school 8.50. 8.50. La otra, la siguiente, alguien que la diga. What time, eh, what time is, what time do you exercise? No. No, what time do you study? Ah, ok, esa no la copié. I study nine o'clock. To 11.55, creo que dijo. Ok. La siguiente. The next one. Sorry. I don't worry. I'm just, I'm just listening, guys. And I'm just like paying attention. But, but, it, but you're okay. doing a very good job. You don't need me. <laughs> That's actually so good. <laughs> Solo creo que por... Okay. Mm. Sorry, solo creo que por ahí escuché eh, un rango. Por ejemplo, era a qué horas estudias. What time do you study? Y dice desde hasta. So, hay como un rango, right? Sí. Normally, right. when that happens, utilizamos from to. Entonces usamos son from ambos. To. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, ah, si okay. le pregunto, hey guys, what time do you work? A qué horas trabajan? And you tell ah. me, or what is your schedule? ¿Cuál es su horario? So, usa me dice, from, desde, to. Hasta. So, así hacemos los rangos. I work from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. <laughs> so, uh -huh, yeah, from. Okay. In, I'm in, study in, from. In this, in this case, sería, from? what time What time do you study? I'm study from 9 o'clock to mm -hmm. 11.55. Exactly, yes. From ah, okay. 2. Mm -hmm. From uh, 9 okay. to 11.45. For example, uh, what time is your English class? My English class is from from eight, eight. o'clock to ten o'clock. Exactly, exactly. So from two. So it's it's un rango. So así armamos los rangos. Y Wendy, do you have a question? No, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Es que, lo, es que lo que pasa es que yo entré ya como a, a medio y no, no he copiado mucho. No se preocupe, a I mí mean, solo estamos practicando la hora. Lo más importante son los números. Entonces, si ya se sabe los números, ya tiene el 50% avanzado. Así que no worries. <laughs> We're good. Ok, guys. Los okay. dejo un minutito. Déjenme ver cómo van los demás y ya regresamos. We will be back in a little while. Estudiaba, creo. No, ¿a qué hora se lavan los dientes? What time do you brush your teeth? Huh? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yes, hey girls, how are you doing? How is everything? 
Todas las teníamos correctas. Hey, uh, uh, that's listening. You are listening master. Super nice. Tenían todas las actividades, las horas. Yes. Sí. Ok. Somos el mejor equipo del mundo. Super Mundial. nice. <laughs> I like it. You are very competitive. So that's super, super nice. Yeah. Y se la es así. Ella me lo pegó. Uh, ok, ok. No, a mí, pero es competencia sana. Entonces, I'm very competitive myself. Entonces, I'm like, yeah, sure, go for it. Eso es parte de. All right, ¿tienen dificultades con alguna hora o estamos bien? Are we okay? Um, no menciona dos horas. Dos horas. Ah, ok. Desde hasta. Ajá, desde desde hasta. Important. Creo que la pregunta era, what time do you study? Right? Y dice, desde yeah. hasta. So you have from mm, nine, I believe, from nine o'clock to eleven fifty-five or ten fifty-five. I don't remember. Ok. So from. Siempre que tengamos un rango, va a utilizar from primero y luego to. For example, what time is our class? The class is 8 o'clock from, from, from mm -hmm. 8 o'clock at 2, from 2, uh -huh. 11, no, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, For example, if I ask you, what time, what time do you work? ¿A qué horas trabajan? What time do you work? Si hablamos de un horario, es from 2. Ellos ven casados, right? I work from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. From 2. Necesito ambos, all right? What time do you work? ¿A qué horas trabajan? From, from, from no seven, entiendo. 8 o'clock. From 7 o'clock. 2. 2. 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. So, Milero, ellas me preguntaban de un rango cuando usted habla de, no de una hora específica. Sí, 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 sí. eso lo rango. comprendo, pero no sé cómo se, cómo se escribe. Uh -huh. ah, ah, ok, ok, no worries, no worries. Ahorita se lo comparto. Siempre que sea un rango, usamos dos, porque necesito dos horas. From, luego, to. So, from and to. ¿Y, co y cómo lo escribo? ¿Cómo, cómo lo, digo desde las 8 hasta las 11? Te lo acabo de compartir en el chat. Está from to, ahí está la forma como se escribe. Y lo usamos igual, right? From, eh, la hora en la que comienzo, to, la hora en la que termino. For example, nuestra clase va de 8 hasta las 10. Entonces, from. our class is from 8 o'clock to 10 no, o'clock. 10 o'clock, exactly, so 10 o'clock. But on Wednesday, este día, I work from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Entonces, es el rango, from to. Ellos siempre y si casados. decimos at, ¿qué estamos diciendo? En vez de, en vez de to. Lo que sucede es esto. Siem, no, 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 al contrario. Siempre que usted diga la hora en la que usted hace algo, si escucharon el video, all right, el video decía, what time do you uh, study? What time do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth at. At es la hora uh -huh. específica. From and to es cuando usted tiene un rango. Desde as. Exacto. Siempre que usted diga una hora, va, va, va a tener que decir at. I wake up at. Porque es una hora específica. Mm -hmm. So, eh, siempre se dice at para la hora. La diferencia es from and to, cuando tiene un rango. All right? Okay. So, creo que ya terminaron. Did you finish with the rest? Practicando no. estábamos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vale, les dejo un par de minutitos mientras voy a ver el resto. ¿Cómo están? Let okay. me know si tienen más preguntas, please. Do you make, este, do you type a makeup? Uh, yeah. Ella responde que she makeup at 7.45. Yes, it's cool. Sí, 7.45. Hi, guys. How are you doing here? ¿Cómo les está yendo? Fine. Everything good? Karen, mm -hmm. hi, nice to yeah. see you. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you today. We missed yes. you. ¿Cómo está? Nice How are you? Do. Fine. We nice missed me you. Too. Le extrañamos. We missed you yesterday. I'm so glad. I'm so happy you are here. 
Ok, uh, chicos, quiero hablar de un rango. Por ejemplo, what time do you study? ¿Cómo decía el video el rango? Desde hasta. Do you remember? Yes. yes. The nine, nine o'clock. Ajá. Uh, at eleven. Five. Eleven. Five. Five. Fifty-five. Eleven. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Now. Como es un rango, decía algo más. So, nine and eleven fifty-five. Pero había algo que conectaba esas dos horas. Do you remember? Two. Two, ok. Pero hay algo más. ¿Falta algo más? No, no remember. Falta algo más. Something else is missing. Something else is missing. Ok. Para rangos de hora, all right, para horarios, vamos a utilizar from, primero. I study from, desde, from, from, 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. to, entonces from and to van conectados, ellos van casados. So, Sandra, what time do you study? Según el ejemplo, I from. I study from, from 11 o'clock to, at 2. 2. Ajá, 2. From 2. Ajá. From 2. Ajá, from. I study from 2. No, no, primero from y la hora que me dijo. From. From 11 o'clock. Ajá, to, ahora sí to. To a. A la siguiente hora, all right? From, Por ejemplo, uh -huh, dígame, dígame. From 9 o'clock to 11.50. Yes, perfect, exactly. Mm. Por ejemplo, cuando hablamos de nuestro horario, what time do you work? ¿A qué horas trabajan? What time? No tengo reloj. Pero what time do you work? <laughs> I work, I work from 8, 8 to 5. Exactly. Nice. Qué horario de, de, de gobierno. Super good, Karen. <laughs> That's really nice. That's a nice schedule. Yeah, it's a good Solo, schedule. Lo primero que se me vino. Ah, no, but, but, but is that your schedule? Ese es su horario. No. What is your schedule? What is your schedule? Let me listen to Karen. What is your schedule, Karen? I mean, el, el suyo, el, el verdadero. Ah, um, my, uh, I work from... Uh -huh. Eh, eight, okay, eight to six o'clock. Ah, okay, from eight to six. Okay, okay, thank you. Boys, and you, uh, Mr. Murcia, what time do you work? Um, I work from two nine at fifty thirty o'clock. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat? Oh. I work from I work from at nine. Nine to? At nine to uh, five thirty. Oh, okay. So you work from nine desde las nueve, right? Yes. O las nueve treinta. No, desde las nueve hasta las cinco treinta. Ah, okay. So I work from nine to, sin el at. El at se lo ponemos two. cuando es una hora, solo una hora. Pero como acá hay dos, entonces I work from 9 to eh, 5.30 a las 5.30, right? Ese yes. sí es de, uh -huh. el horario de, de, de gobierno. También horario de gobierno. No, aquí okay. eran afuera. De okay. lunes a viernes así y el sábado hasta las 4. Ah, en inglés, en inglés. On Saturday, ajá, uh -huh, on Saturday. On Saturday night. Eh, from, from, on from 9. On Saturday from 9 uh, to 4. Ok, from 9 to 4 o'clock. Ok. Ok, very good. Exactly, exactly. So from 2. Very nice. Teacher, I'm sorry para, to hear that. Francisco, teacher, tell me. Y para decir, por ejemplo, si yo de, quiero decir, eh, yo trabajo de lunes a viernes. Tendría puedo decir que... así, from, from mm -hmm. Monday. To Friday, mm -hmm. y si quiero decir la hora, digo from 8 to 5. To yeah, that's correct, that's correct. So, yeah. I work, como lo acaba de hacer, I work from yeah. Monday to Friday, 
from 7 to uh, 5 p.m., okay? For example, my schedule, I work from Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> okay, so from, sí se pueden usar de ambas formas, right? Both ways, okay? Very good, guys. Vamos a regresar a la sesión principal porque tenemos más ejercicios. Así que, let's go back, let's go back. Okay. See you Um, thanks everybody for coming back. Gracias por regresar. Thank you so, so much. All right. So we, los regresé porque vamos a practicar. We need to practice a little bit more. Today is the 19th. So antes de avanzar voy a pasar, um, listo, aquí rapidito. Me ayudan siempre con la verbal confirmation diciéndome present, please. So let me just take a look. My first person is Christian. Christian, está por ahí. Are you there? Present, present. Thank you. Isaac. Present. Thank you. Edith. Oh, I don't see Edith. Present, present. Oh, thank you very much. Y chicos, solamente les... No worries. Les agradecería que el nombre siempre me lo pongan completo, porfa, para registro de asistencia en Zoom. Eh, Yacira Tobar. Present teacher, con mi nombre está mal escrito. No se escribe Yacira, Emelinda Tobar. Como no, pero lo han puesto con sí, no es. Ah, Yacira, entonces se escribe Y-A-S-I-R-A. -S -S oh, ya les comento para que lo corrija. No worries. Okay, y así le aparece en el DUI, Yacira. Yes. Bueno, déjeme comentarle a los encargados. Let you know. Okay. Isela Michel. Is, I, I saw Isela. Isela. Yes, I'm. Oh, yeah, I saw you. I saw you there. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Lo que pasa es que no veo la pantalla. Ah, yo pensé que sí. No. No le había puesto. Sorry, sorry. No, no. Oh, no, yeah. no. <laughs> No, no me da la, la screen. Ok, Gabriela. Gaby. No se ha conectado. Todavía no. Ok, Silvia. <coughs> Silvia se estaba right. Oh, Silvia estaba hace un minuto. Ah, eso es Silvia. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you. Ah, como no, sí, se acaba de levantar, acaba de volver. Ah, Silvia. Okay. Silvia. Present. No, para no marcarle. Ahí está, ahí está. <ríe> Thank you, Silvia. Ahí está. Pues sí, si no le van a marcar, así que no. Francisco Enrique. Present. Thank you. Eh, Diana. Se ha levantado, ¿Tan? pero ahí está. Levantado. Creería haberla visto. Patricia. Ahí está. Caro. Creo que vi a Caro también, ¿verdad? Ahí está Caro. Caro, 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 caro. ¿Carolina? No. I think I saw Carolina. Some, some minutes ago. No. no Maybe not. Oh, okay. All right. Ah, sí, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Se está conectando. Yeah, se está conectando audio. Sí, no. Thank you. Sí, no. Right now. Thank you, thank you. Sí, es que creo que la vi hace unos minutitos. All right. Eh, Sandra Beatriz, yeah, right? Present. Thank you. Gerson. Present. Thank you. Madeline. No vino. No vino. No vino. Sí. 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 El pelo negro no ha venido. Oh, echo. Hey, Doris. Present. Thank you, Doris. Karen, yes, right? Karen, Present. Karen. I saw you. Present. Thank you very much. Milagro. Present. Thank you. Perfect attendance, Milagro. Nice. Eh, Wendy, Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Verónica, Vero, no there. Eh, Murcia, Mr. Murcia, yes, right? Present. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, everybody, so let's continue. Your now, uy, aquí, okay. oh, caro, 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 wait, 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 ¿qué más me faltaba? 
I was missing somebody, somebody. Carolina, Carolina. Uy, Wendy no la marca. I'm gonna do it there. Wendy and... Uh, ya está. All right. Thank you, Pat Carolina. So you told me you don't like Patricia. All right. Okay, everybody. So let's just uh, continue with this. I'm going to show you some questions. We are going to practice now some speaking. And uh, just remember something very important. Son los... Eh, um, cuando tenemos dos, cuando tenemos un rango. So we say from... Luego el primer el número, la primera hora, y luego two. All right, para la segunda. We have classes from eight to ten. So from two, all right? Usamos rangos. Now, everybody, I want you to take a picture because we are going to practice the speaking. It says here, answer the questions about you. So personal answers. What time do you wake up on Wednesday, on weekdays, okay? What time do you wake up uh, on weekdays? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Where do you eat breakfast? What time do you eat lunch? So what time? ¿A qué horas? What time do you eat lunch? Y si no almuerzan, pues, I don't eat lunch. That's okay. What do you eat for lunch? What time do you go to bed? By the way, guys, what time do you go to bed? ¿A qué horas se acuestan? What time do you go to bed? 11 o'clock. 11, okay. 12. No duermo. 12? <laughs> you don't sleep? No, come on. Come on. Aunque sea una hora, tiene que dormirse. You gotta sleep. Zombie. We are Zombie. not some fires or something. The wine. <laughs> the wine. Eso es para el viernes, Isela. The, the walking dead. The walking dead. The walking dead. Okay. But what time, oh, what time do you do homework? ¿A qué hora hacen sus tareas? When we have homework, what time do you do your homework? Isaac, what time do you do your homework? At lunch. It's at six o'clock. Oh, okay, at six o'clock, all right. What time do you have a Zoom meeting with your teacher? So that's for everybody from 8 to 10 p.m. So remember the Para horas específicas, como what time do you wake up, necesito agregarle at, a la hora, antes de la hora. I wake up, y luego at, ok? So, eh, Wendy, what time do you wake up on weekdays? I, web, I wake up, wake up. Uh -huh. At, at seven. seven. Okay. <gasps> nice. Oh, that's late. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. At seven. Oh, porque está haciendo home office. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, no. Uh huh. That's all right. Karen, what time do you wake up on weekdays? I time. I wake, wake up. up at. I wake. I wake up at. Uh, Six o'clock. Okay, six o'clock. So seven o'clock, six o'clock. Thank you. Alguien se levanta más temprano. Who wakes up earlier? ¿Quién se levanta más temprano? Five. What Five. time, Edith? What time do you wake up? Five. I, five. I wake up five. Okay, at five a.m. All right. Alguien antes de las cinco? Who wakes up before five? I wake up at four o'clock. Four o'clock. Why? Wow. Why? Wow. Why four o'clock? ¿Por qué las cuatro, oh. Doris? Why? Eh, lento, ¿cómo es que se dice? Slow. 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 Because slow. I slow for all. <laughs> for eat. For take a shower. Okay, all. okay. No, but you organize your time. So, in okay, okay, for it. I wake up at 5.30, I think. Uh -huh. I wake up wow. at 5.30. So I think that's still early, okay? So, 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 take a picture, please. If you want, pueden escribir sus respuestas. You can write it down y luego las practicamos para que se sientan más cómodos. So you can write it down y pueden practicar también how to say the time. I will give you only one minute. I'll give you a minute.
where do you eat breakfast? Okay, okay. Are we ready? Are we ready to practice? Do you need more time? Yes. Mm, yes, do you need more? I'm sorry. Teacher, yo no escuché muy bien eh, lo, lo de la regla esa del at. ¿En qué caso dijo? Oh. Please repeat again. Oh, yes, 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 sure. Eh, let, me, let me make it in writing. Let me share my screen here so you can take a look. Okay. So, a specific time, a specific time, we are going to use at, okay? So, I wake up at, so, one hour only. I eat breakfast, breakfast at, because it's one specific hour. I start working at, so, only one specific hour. Next. A branch. So when we are talking about not only one, but two hours, okay, we use from and then two, okay? For example, I work from seven to five p.m., okay? I work from seven. Okay. To, oh, 7 a.m. Sorry, I forgot. From 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. No necesario okay. ponerle o'clock. All right? It's not necessary. You can say a.m., p.m. We are good. I have class. Okay. From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. So, el app es siempre, siempre que usted diga una hora específica. And uh, from to es cuando hablamos de la relación entre dos horas o la duración de una actividad, right? From and to. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know si quedó claro or you want me to give more examples. I wake up at, at. Oh, okay. Eh, teacher, como digo, medianoche, digamos. Oh, Entonces ahora me voy a dormir. Yes, yes, yes. That's a very good question. That's a very good one. Okay, 12. 12. Sí, es 12 del mediodía. We say noon. So 12, mediodía, we say noon. Okay. For example, yo almuerzo al mediodía. I have lunch at noon. Pero tengo que agregarle siempre at porque es una hora, right? So 12, mediodía, is noon. A la medianoche. The other 12 sería midnight. I go to bed at midnight. I have dinner at midnight. <laughs> no creo que sea, you know, the case, but all right. So I have classes at midnight. So noon, mediodía. Midnight, pero es la medianoche. Vaya, y es correcto decir 12 midnight at midnight o solamente tengo que decir midnight lo que sucede es que cuando usted dice midnight ya se sobreentiende que, que son las 12 de la noche and when you say noon ya se entiende entonces sería como se puede pero sería como un poco redundante exactly so yo lo olvidaría creo que solamente I go to bed at midnight y ya se entendió que son las 12 es como noon I have dinner at noon nos vemos at noon Ya se entiende que son las 12 del mediodía. So, no es necesario decirle like 12 noon. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Está interesante eso, pero casi no lo entendí. Eh, ¿qué, par mm -hmm. ¿Qué parte milagro? Tell me, tell me. Ese, ¿cómo, cómo, mm -hmm. ¿cómo decir mm -hmm. nos vemos a mediodía? 
Ah, ok, ok, ok. So, una forma de decirlo es eh, esto de acá. 12 es el mediodía, right? Pero 12 es lo mismo que usted me diga noon, si se refiere al mediodía. Entonces, okay. obviously, si yo le quiero decir, nos vemos al mediodía. So, see you. Es como lo mismo, right? See you. Pero como necesito decir la hora, yo le puedo decir see you at 12. Pero no voy a entender si 12 del mediodía o 12 de la noche. So, lo más fácil es see you at noon. No. Nos vemos al mediodía. See you at noon. O oh, oh, I, I go to the bed at Midnight. Yeah, so I go to bed at midnight. Teacher, y mm -hmm. cuando no se tiene una hora específica para el lunch, puedo decir nada más different hours. Uh, como mm, puedo utilizarme around. Mm, okay, I have dinner, mm -hmm. I have lunch around. Mm -hmm. Me puedo utilizar around, Yacira. Around it, mm, es que between es como el from, me está dando un rango mm -hmm. entre las 12 ah. y la 1. Ajá. So, cuando me dice between, me está dando como el rango de tiempo en el que usted puede hacer una actividad. Eh, give me just a second. So, between is ok, pero me da un rango de tiempo, right? Around es como alrededor de, sin ser específico. Uh, for example, I wake up around 7. Alrededor de las 7, por ahí por las 7, ¿ok? Entonces también podemos usar around sin decir at, para no ser específico. That's fine. For example, algunos no tienen hora de salida y salen como a las 6, you know? So you can say, I finish work around 6, around 7. So por ahí como a las 6, como a las 7. So es también para dar un estimado de tiempo. Around is ok. Between is ok, pero es como el... el en este tiempo hace una actividad, all right? So, eh, chicos, ¿estamos bien? Are we okay? Any other questions? Uy, I'm sorry. Me, se me fue. Dígame, dígame. Tell me. Eh, una consulta. En las preguntas, la 3 y la 4, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Una lleva uh -huh. four, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá, solo es la diferencia. What do you eat? What time is what do you eat? Mm. What time? Mm. Ah, guys, guys, guys. Let's pay attention to the WH. What time? What do? What time? Yes. My what question. And the other, the other is not what time. Number four mm. is what. What do you? Uh -huh. What do you? Te comes. Uh, exactly, Te exactly. Uh -huh. so number three is come a que mm -hmm. And number four is what. El qué, ok, el qué comes. So it's different, the questions are different. Mm -hmm. Teacher, it's ok decir, uh, I eat pizza on lunch. Mm, no. Four, four, at this lunch. one. Eh, la última que está acá, what do you eat for? for ah, aquí dice for, aquí dice for. Okay. For lunch. Mm -hmm. hey, no, no for problem, lunch. no problem. For sorry. breakfast? No, 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 don't be sorry, don't be sorry. Your question is super good. So I eat pupusas for, for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Normalmente podemos usar for. for. Es mucho más, más fácil, right? For breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Mm -hmm. For okay. In each teacher. Okay, okay, super good. ¿Le falta alguien? Are we ready? Can we practice? Any other question? No. No more questions. Este se me olvidó una parte. Cuando sí. quiero decir desde hasta es at from. Mm -mm. No, no, no. no. Give me, es from. Give me a second. I'm coming back. From here, here, to... here, here. This is a, like, a, like a frame, okay? So from. Es que como para decir una hora siempre decimos antes at. Mm -hmm. No, but in this Entonces, case, from and to Silvia. Ah, va, gracias. Like, like the example, I work mm -hmm. from 7 to 5. I work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. You are welcome. You're so welcome. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay. Okay, everybody. So we are going to a uh, practice, obviously, because we need to practice to get a uh, more confident. Okay, by the time of telling the hour. So give me just a quick second. Let's wait. Change the group. I'm gonna change you, obviously. Two, 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 three, four, five. Okay. And, and I want you to interview your classmate, practice the question, practicamos la hora. And if you have questions, hay una opción que dice pedir ayuda, right? So ask for help, no problem, y ahí voy. So uh, five minutes, let's go, let's practice, let's have fun, y luego regresamos. Then we are coming back. So join everybody, let's join, let's get in there, get in there. Hey girls, les cayó la, la, la invitación. Do you have it? Yes. Sandra se desconectó, creo yo. Ok, Francisco, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at uh, 10.30. Ok, eh, Doris, what time do you homework? I do my homework and from 1 to 2 p.m. Two o'clock. Okay. Okay. Francisco, what time do you have a Zoom 
meeting with your teacher? Repeat, please. What time do you have a Zoom meeting with your teacher? Uh, I have seven. a meeting. It's uh, eight from eight to ten. Okay. Question me. Very nice. They are really good questions, guys. Okay, let me ask you some. Um, what time do you um, what time do you do you relax? <laughs> I do relax only weekend <laughs> or okay. night. <laughs> Wow, okay, okay, so you don't relax. Guys, what about you? What time do you relax? Like, you, I don't know, you have a hobby. What time do you watch TV? So what time do you relax? I do relax, listen music. Okay, okay, so listen to music. But you can listen to music too all day long right so el día so <laughs> that that's nice that's a good hobby only, only morning uh, or uh, only night ah okay after the class yes ah okay that sounds good that sounds good doris and you what time do you relax i do relax at noon at noon from sorry from 12 uh -huh. to 2 p.m. Oh, from 12 to 2. Okay, that's a long period when of I time. My lunch. Ah, okay, so your lunch is two hours. Your lunch is two hours. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, okay. That that's long. Nice, Murcia, and you? Yes. <laughs> that's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> you can <cannot> sleep. <laughs> I relax on Sunday. Uh huh. The, from one at eleven. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. From one to from one to eleven. Yes. But 11 p.m., right? Sí. Okay, okay. So, on Sunday. Do you work on Sunday? Uh, oh, I am no. study in the university the, from 7 at noon. Okay. But you study only on Sunday? Yes. Do you study during the week? No, in the week, uh, solo sería inglés. Oh, but that's nice. What do you study? Um, sería licenciatura en ciencias de la computación. Ah, okay. Computer science. Computer science. Yes. Nice. Okay, so you work from Monday to Saturday. You have classes yes. from Monday to Friday. And you study on Sunday from 7 yes. to 12. My goodness. <laughs> okay, my goodness. Relax. Oh, yeah. From 1 to what time do you say? What time do you relax? Okay, what time do you do homework? My God. <laughs> uh, bueno, normalmente las tareas de la universidad no, no las hago. <laughs> No, uh -huh. las hago entre las la una de la mañana y las dos es la hora más tranquila. Every day, <laughs> every day. Casi siempre. What time do you sleep? Um, I sleep in the three hours or two hours. Oh, ahí se aplica el between. So you sleep between two and three hours. 
No, no Francisco, ves? you're killing yourself. Se está matando. <laughs> you're killing yourself, my God. Ok. Y, y yo que duermo cinco horas y ya estoy llorando. <laughs> Oh my God, wow, I admire you. Pero eso es, you know, el compromiso, motivación and everything. So cuesta, pero, pero va a ver que va a tener los resultados. You will see your results. Nice, wow. I mean, yeah, you will, definitely you will. Eh, y, eh, y su carrera de computer science con inglés se complementan. Entonces, eh, I'm pretty sure que sí, va a haber los resultados very, very soon. Ok, guys, los dejo que sigan practicando. Voy a ver cómo van los demás. Nice talking to you. It was super fun. Thank you. Thank you. En todo caso, este sería tal vez la última pregunta. Ah, teacher, aquí teníamos una pregunta. Hey, boys, tell me, what is your question? The question is, is what time do you have a Zoom meeting with your teacher? Mm -hmm. Or what time do you have a English class with your um, teacher? In our case, it is the same. <laughs> it is the same but, yeah, because uh, what 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 is your your question? Why for the Porque Wednesday? Ah. Because today is Wednesday. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Well, depende del contexto, right? It depends on the context. The question is, what time do you have a meeting with your teacher? So, si es como, I can say, we, no solo yo, right? Sino mm -hmm. we, we have a meeting from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Y está super bien, that's fine. Pero sería we, nosotros, right? My mm -hmm. class, uh-huh. Si es como solo yo, hey, uh, Chris, eh, yeah, Kristen, what time do you have a meeting with me? Okay. Answer my question. <laughs> what time do you have a meeting with me today? Ahora tenemos okay. meeting. We have uh -huh. meeting today. What Pero time? Yo, de, vaya, yo, eso es lo que estaba diciendo. Yo la tuve hace dos fines, hace dos, dos, dos semanas. Dos semanas. Isaac también. Entonces, no puedo utilizar I, ha, I have meeting Oh, sí. Sí, se, well, no hemos visto eso, pero se puede. I pero had, yo tuve. I had me I had. With, with you two, mm -hmm. weeks, two weeks ago. Yes, o oh, como la pregunta es what time, me puede ser bien específico. I have a meeting, I have, yo tuve, I right? Have, I, I had a meeting the... at 10.20. Entonces, como uh, la pregunta es de, de a qué hora, all right? Chicos, los dejo un segundito, me están llamando por acá. Hi. No. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Tell me. Okay. We have a question. Tell me, what's your question? Wendy. Eh, en la número 5, que dice, what time do you go to bed? Yo le contesté, I go to bed between 11 and 12. No sé mm -hmm. si está bien eso. Yes. Sí, porque me está dando el tiempo estimado en el que usted va. Entonces solamente me dice las horas. Between 11 and 12 está bien. Significa que en algún punto de este frame Ajá, de esa. usted se va a, a dormir. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, From and to es como exactamente yo duermo desde hasta eh, ininterrumpidamente. Y el between uh, around uh, around es un estimado. Around. También lo puedo ocupar. Yeah. Uh, Pero I no dando dos horas, no. solo una. Yeah, Bet around 11 and 12. Pero también se puede, you know, you can do it. Um, alrededor de las 11, alrededor, alrededor de las 11 y la... Es como bien vago. So, around mm -hmm. es bien vago. Between es como el tiempo en medio, right? Un tiempo, un punto en ese rango que usted vio. Y el at es para un tiempo específico. I go to bed, I don't know, no tengo. Entonces, I go to bed around 11, 12. One, <laughs> so around is a very estimated, uh, an estimated time. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, estamos bien? Are you good? Yes. Okay. Yes. Super, super nice. So, vamos a regresar. Yeah. Let's go back to the main session, girls. Take a look.
Hey everybody, thank you very much for coming back. Ya casi nos vamos, ya casi terminamos. Solo me falta Karen, I'm missing Karen. Give me just a second. Solo que regresen. All right, so preguntas. Do you have an equation? Estamos súper bien con la hora. Anything que se les haya quedado por ahí? Or que dudaron? Do you have any question? Yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me, Silvia. En el grupo estábamos con Milagro y ella no nos mencionó que el o'clock, cuando es desde hasta, no lo tenemos que decir, aparte si no lo había escuchado yo. Lo que sucede es que el o'clock es bien específico, es como en punto. From seven o'clock, es que, sí, por ejemplo, puede, nosotros, le dijimos, nosotros le dijimos, from, from eight o'clock to ten o'clock. Entonces sí. ella nos dijo que el o'clock no nos sé cuando iba. Um, no es muy común, it's not very common, pero no significa que no, no se pueda, ¿verdad? Right? Sí es permitido. Lo que no podemos hacer con el o'clock es cuando usted dice a las 7 y 30 en punto. Eso no se puede. 7.30 o'clock, no really, porque el o'clock significa una hora exacta, right? Una hora completita, let's say, no exacta, sino completa. 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, completita. So, 7.15 o'clock, eso no se puede. We cannot do that. Eh, pero si vamos a hablar de un rango from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock y nos referimos exactamente a ese corte, sí se podría. You can do it. Por, por y ejemplo, si yo dijera la teacher. Eh, yeah, permítame, solo voy con Yacira, then Isela, and then Milagro. Yacira, tell me. Este, por ejemplo, en la última teacher sería de. Eh, sería, hay have zoom medium. Eh, I have a Zoom meeting. Uh -huh. a, from, a, from eight. From nine o'clock. Eh, sí, ya sí, solamente que sería from, from eight. From two. A. From a. eight to. Ah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Primero from, from eight to nine. From eight to ten. Mm -hmm. From eight to eleven. Mm -hmm. From eight to. Eh, Isela, your question? Sí, esa justamente era. O sea que si yo digo, and meet from. 8 to 10 es válido. Yep. No necesito decir 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. No es necesario. It's not necessary. Uh, okay. Se puede, but no es requerido. All right? So remember mm -hmm. que en inglés las respuestas son mucho más cortitas. All right? Y usted se ahorra saliva. Entonces, eh, from 8 to 9 <laughs> está súper bien. What time, is your, mm -hmm. what time do you work? From 8 to 5. Y está bien. That's okay. That's acceptable. Mm -hmm. Eh, sí. Milagro, I'm sure. coming with you. Sí, sí, una, sí, una pregunta. Solamente, sí, solamente no, decir que, eh, solamente que um, yo solo le estaba diciendo a Silvia lo que había escuchado que usted ya nos había dicho acerca de eso. Del uso de los clock. Del uso de los clock. Ya, solamente Ajá, es que, de... Tell me. Pero igual no estaba muy segura ahora. Ya usted lo aclaró y le agradezco. Ah, no worries, no worries. Igual, chicos, la idea es colaborarse siempre y uh, a veces ya tenemos conocimiento previo y podemos aportar, entonces no hay ningún problema. You are totally welcome. De hecho, gracias por compartirlo también porque eso nos aclara las dudas, right? Diana, I'm coming with you. Y cuando se usa la hora así como de 24 horas, uh, se usa... La hora militar. Ajá. Eh, es lo mismo, solo hacemos el cambio. En vez de decir las 2 de la tarde... 14, 14 hours. So, las 16, mm -hmm. so las 16, like 15, 15 hours. Las... We don't mm. use it really, we don't use it, sino es más como, hay ciertos, que, ciertos empleos que lo requieren, right? So, but ah, yeah, uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Pero es como lo mismo, solo que en vez de decir las dos, uh, 14 hours. I'll see you at 14, 11. Mm -hmm. Ya no sería necesario decir a.m. ni p.m., sino que solamente uh -huh. hours. Exactly. Ya no es necesario porque la 14 ya sé que eh, se refiere a la tarde, right? So we are talking um, about it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Pretty much that's it. Okay, guys. Gracias. Tengo, you're welcome. You're so welcome. Tengo solamente un comercial here. Les acabo de compartir en el chat con quién tenemos sesión el día de ahora. So, Beatriz, comienzo con usted a las 10. I see you at 10. Eh, let me see. Then I have okay. Herson at 10 and 10. Eh, Madeline at 10.20. Uh, 
and the door is 10 30 and i'm sorry karen 10 40 <laughs> so i'm going to keep you up late <laughs> okay <laughs> so, only eh, tengo una pregunta a teacher uh-huh Harrison. Eh, es, de, es necesario, digamos, en nota o algo por el estilo, este tiempo. Evaluado no es, all right? pero es como la oportunidad si necesita re revisar un tema. Siempre, a veces tenemos un tema por ahí que se nos ha quedado atorado y que no sabemos qué es, you know? o necesitamos practicar algo, you know? o tenemos la urgencia, nos están pidiendo que, no sé, que demos una presentación o algo. O, eh, so, la idea de este one on one es primero para darles feedback de cómo vamos, de qué es lo que necesitamos mejorar o qué necesitamos practicar y lo segundo para evaluar o que evacúen cualquier duda que se les haya quedado y que durante la clase no hemos tenido la oportunidad de, de aclarar you know, como es debido, así que eh, la invitación está hecha si por alguna razón you know, usted no puede atender Lastimosamente no se puede reprogramar. And, uh, so, eh, Christian, pensé que iba usted ahora, pero creo que me equivoqué con Gerson. I think that I, I mistakenly said your name. <laughs> es que se parecen, you know, Gerson, Christian, hasta están a la par. So. Um, but, but that was the thing. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> ya se parece. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Pasan por gemelos. Ok, everybody, so thank you so much for your participation. <laughs> Tienen las tareas ya. Y ya chévere, programadas? la cuestión. Tell me, Madeline. Eh, yo tengo a las 10 y 20. Eh, este mismo enlace. Eh, no, se las compartieron hace un par de minutitos, creo que en la mañana. En el WhatsApp. Les decía en el WhatsApp. Que estaba. Y yeah, ese es el. Ok, el, ok. Eh, yeah. Sí. So see you everybody, see you tomorrow. No se les olvide la tarea, please. And nos vemos en el otro enlace, Sandra. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Ana dijo que su conexión era muy mala. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, no, no les logré escuchar. ¿Le escucharon? Que yo... ¿Le lograron no, comprender? Se quedó así. Pues yo que... escuché que dijo que la, el one to one de ella lo tenía en vacaciones. Ah. ah ahorita es un robot. Diana, Diana, se me, se me está cortando. It is cutting off. Pero los de la semana pasada fueron reprogramados para el miércoles anterior. Si no me equivoco, el de Carolina y el suyo fue la semana pasada. Déjeme confirmar si hay alguna forma de, de hacer la reprogramación. Let me confirm. All right. Bueno. Ya, ya le, le consulto y le escribo. All right. Ok. So, Sela, um, te toca hoy. Bye, Herzog. No, es tú. Te toca hoy, Sela. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good night. See you soon. Los veo bien tranquilos. ¿Cómo, no tienen... ¿Cómo, tenemos, ¿Cómo tenemos que desvelarnos ahora? Ni modo. Ok. Um, bueno. La, nos, nos, vemos en la, nos vemos en la otra mini, chicos. Bye. Bye, bye. bye.